What is going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to one of my favorite boots on the market, the Asics DS Lite X-Fly Pro 2. Here's the one month review. Let's hop into it. All right, starting straight off with the sole plate, which as you can see, it is quite dirty. The reason for that is because I've worn these a bunch on FG pitches in Australia and they were quite muddy when I did. And so I have tried to clean them off as best I can, uh, but the shoes are fairly worn, which is I guess what you want for a one month review. So this sole plate is probably one of my favorite on the market not quite as good as the Morelia Neo series, not quite as good as the DS Lite X-Fly 5 series, but using the same stud pattern-ish as the DS Lite X-Fly 5, you get amazing conical studs, no stud pressure on FG or AG. You get pretty decent snapback like as well, which I really, really like. They've obviously kind of cored out some of these pieces to expose this fabric or like felt-like material, um, which is completely waterproof. So you don't have to worry about like water absorption or anything like that. And it also doesn't get any heavier in rainy conditions, which is also great. Um, it's just to reduce weight in the sole plate, which it does because this is a very, very light boot. For, from a sole plate perspective, good amount of kind of torque stability here. You've got the good amount of flex, but also pretty good snapback for a boot of this nature. And honestly, it's hard to complain about these because they feel really nice and ground and underfoot. So for me, the sole plate is going to get an eight out of 10. The heel area for the X-Fly Pro 2 is debatably the best on the market. X-Fly 5 is probably my favorite, but these are basically the same from a heel perspective. They're a little bit more voluminous, uh, but I just don't have an issue with that because the way that Asics creates the foam and the padding and the suede liner and the shape and everything is is basically perfect. I don't know what Asics has done. Asics, I'll say Asics and Asics, it's two different, whatever, same brand. They are sensational at creating a heel area, and this is why the DS Lite X-Fly Pro and X-Fly Pro and X-Fly 5 series and X-Fly series are just incredible when it comes to heel area. So for me, there's really not much else to say other than if you have consistent issues with your heel area, Lockhart boot blog, this is the way to go. The ASICs is the way to go. And I know Andrew uses these and is like his favorite boot. However, I would say if you're like Andrew and you're like me and you have issues with a little bit of slippage in that heel area, these are the boots for you. So nine out of 10 for the heel area, easy. The upper for the X-Fly Pro 2 is very, very good. I love a few different aspects of it, which I wanna talk about. First of all, the leather in the forefoot is super, super soft, molds straight away to your foot, has a nice amount of give to it. Obviously with the stitching pattern, isn't gonna go crazy over stretching. Then you have the moist tech treatment over their synthetic leather material, which if you haven't already heard me say it, you've probably heard other people say it, the ASIC synthetic leather is by far the best on the market. So the fact that you get this all in the midfoot and the heel area is awesome. It's got a little bit of weather repellent tech as well. As I said with the uh, sole plate, because it's so dirty, I've worn these like in muddy rain and they are absolutely fantastic. No issues whatsoever. The upper transition as well between the leather and the synthetic leather works seamlessly, which is something that I complain a lot about with like the Diodora Veloce, the 99 gram leather boots, some of the other, I'm trying to think of the other one that I reviewed recently, but the point being um, is that oftentimes you get a leather that's really, really kind of bulbous and padded, which can feel really nice on ball. But then as soon as you're striking the ball or trying to whip or curve with the thinness of that midfoot material, the difference between the two is really, really not great. And it causes a little bit of issues, at least for me, in the way that the sensation is of taking different types of touches. I technically, you know, what, from my perspective, I prefer something that's a lot more seamless when it comes to a playing experience. And this delivers that basically bar none. The only thing I'm gonna knock it down for is I think they're not quite as epic of an upper as the X-Fly 5 and the Neo 4 series even though I think X-Fly 5 is like the pinnacle, these are like right below that. So this upper is gonna get an 8.5 out of 10. Lockdown for the X-Fly Pro 2 is actually pretty remarkable given the construction. A lot of people I think would say, hey, there's you know no tension points or tension uh, strings or like a fly wire cable or internal cage, which there is actually on these ones, um, internal cage or anything on these boots. The internal cage on here actually does a really nice job, including the fact that they do have a runner's knot. So 
ASICS does a fantastic job of creating an upper that's gonna stretch and mold to your foot, but they have a, in my opinion, and objectively, the, the deepest and the widest lacing system, which means that feet like this wide can handle it, and also feet super thin can handle it as well. And that's something that this boot does exceptionally well, is you can really adjust all the little nooks and crannies of your feet as you move closer and closer to your ankle. And then you have at the top this lacing loop just that extra little hole there that provides that extra bit of lockdown into the heel area and provides one of um, the best locked in sensations in this particular category from the you know synthetic midfoot leather forefoot category. So for me, this is really good. That being said, it's not something like you know a shadow elite from under armor or like a puma ultra carbon or something like that it's not that locked in but it is pretty locked in for its category so for me this is going to get a 7.5 out of 10. break in time given the construction of this boot was a little bit of a struggle for me in order to achieve the best fit for me I go half a size down with these and the DS Lite X Fly 5, which means that the break in time is a little bit more strenuous simply because my toes are absolutely crushed up against the edge of this football boot. And then as I break them in, I'm able to sort of stretch out, the leather softens up, the midfoot softens up, then it's pretty much perfect. They're not as annoying to break in as like a Shadow Elite 2.0, which I mentioned earlier. Uh, they're not an, as annoying to break in as a Puma Ultra Carbon. However, they aren't the upper echelon of boots that I can just slide into and wear super comfortably right away. So for me, the break in time is gonna get a 7.5 out of 10. Durability and build quality for the XFly Pro 2 has been awesome. As I've said multiple times in the video, I've worn them both on AG and FG pitches. They've performed really, really well. I think recently ASICS has done a great job of increasing the durability of their boots. The XFly 5, like white and dark blue edition that I had a really long time ago, those had a little bit of separation from the sole plate, but every boot since then that I've had from them has been absolutely fantastic. The, they even put rivets here on the inside, kind of where you would strike the ball the most on the internal side of that forefoot area. And then you also get a rivet in the toe box area as well to sort of really lock in that upper onto the sole plate, which really does help from a durability and build quality perspective. You can tell the craftsmanship that goes into this. You can tell that they've taken care to design these boots with the materials and all that stuff. So for me, durability and build quality is going to get an eight out of 10. Shape and fit for the XFly Pro 2 is pretty good. I would say it's not my favorite straight out of the box because it is a little bit more sharp and pointed here in the toe box area. I prefer the XFly 5 for that reason, even though they are super, super comparable. Um, I would say that for the most part, if you are somebody with a narrow foot, you're gonna fit in these perfectly well. If you have a pretty wide foot, I would say just let your foot break them in. Once they're broken in, they're really nice, but from an overall shape and fit, I do prefer some other boots in the category. So for me, these are gonna get a 7.5 out of 10 for shape and fit. Competition for the XFly Pro 2 kind of goes in two different camps. If you're gonna compare the construction and the way these have been designed, I would say the competition really is XFly 5, Morelia Neo 4, Morelia Neo 4 Beta. You've got the Umbro Toco 4 Pro now. You've got the uh, Veloce from Diodora. Those are all the 99 gram leather, even though I know those are like way gone at this point. I just like to reference that boot because I had a pretty interesting conversation in the comments with that particular pair of boots when I mentioned that I didn't like them as much as I thought I did because after a ton of playing, the sensation between the forefoot and the midfoot of the different materials just kind of made me uh, not as excited about the playing experience. However, I would say that these boots definitely are in probably top three for me. I think these are number three um, in, this, in that particular category of construction. Number two is gonna be Morelia Neo 4, the non-beta version with the same construction. And then XFly 5 is my favorite and XFly 5 special edition, but that's, it's the same boot pretty much. So these are definitely number three in the category, but that, but I would say that top three is well above the rest of the competition. So these are an excellent pair of football boots for what else is on the market. So DS Lite XFly Pro 2, as far as performance goes, these are awesome. They're super fun to play with. They've got great amount of flexibility of the upper. They create a really nice barefoot sensation on feet. You still get the kind of effortless plushness of the uh, Premier, uh, the Premier, 
the premium K leather in the forefoot area, which is ASICs like special treated stuff, similar to what Mizuno has. They are awesome. So from a performance perspective, they are gonna get pretty good marks. The only reason I'm knocking them down a point or two is simply because if you're talking about like the best performance football boot on the market, at least for what I'm looking for, this is just a half a step down from that, even if they are very, very good football boots. So just keep in mind when I rate the performance versus the overall rating, you might be like, what the heck? But from a performance standpoint, these are gonna get an eight out of 10. Now for the overall rating of the DS Lite XFly Pro 2. I am super, super into these football boots. They are easily going in my game day rotation as I've uh, shown you with all the mud and stuff. We've played several games, I've said played several games in them now. They're awesome. They're such a good pair of football boots. They're so fun to wear. They're so comfortable. The shape is a little bit awkward. The break-in time's a little bit weird for me. The lockdown maybe isn't the very best on the market, but if you go half a size down, you're gonna be super, super happy with the way that these fit, regardless really of your foot shape. So for me, these get an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10. Very, very, very good football boots. So for me, class and i'm going to continue to wear them a bunch you'll probably see them in some more content coming up in the next little bit if you guys are interested in my favorite grip socks which you have probably seen a bunch in this video through the b-roll those are we foot grip socks they are an awesome brand that is a brand i reached out to they have thin and thick socks the ones you see in the video are the thin ones they are excellent i wear them for pretty much everything the thick ones i wear for games mostly just because i like a little bit of extra volume in games 20 percent discount code they've hooked us up down in the description box below using code NOAA20, or you just hit the link and it'll automatically go into your shopping cart as well. Hope you guys enjoyed that video of the one month review of the DS Lite XFly Pro 2. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hit that like button if you got value from the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see y'all in the next video.